European directives and other national regulations, including OSHA in the US, recognize IEC 61508 and IEC 61511 ISA 84 safety standards as best engineering practices. The latest revision of these safety standards represent a challenge to users of older safety systems and their ability to demonstrate compliance to these regulations. Hi, my name is Luis Duran with ABB and today I'd like to talk to you about regulatory changes and safety instrument systems compliance. It is estimated that two-thirds of the safety systems currently in operation were installed before the release of today's safety standards. Now, ISA and IEC do not mandate bringing legacy first-generation systems into compliance if you have documented all maintenance and changes to the system since it was first installed. To demonstrate compliance, users must meet a proven in use criteria or grandfather clause, and two factors make this a difficult task. First, users cannot claim compliance if they do not have access to spare parts to keep their system up and running. Second, users must have the original system manufacturer recertify the legacy system to the newest revision of these standards. Finally, a volume of operating experience must be taken into consideration. While recertification might be possible, it is extremely difficult, and many users will not demonstrate compliance. So, what are your choices? In the end, you must have a system that meets the requirement of the latest revision of the standards. There are many new requirements that legacy systems were not designed to meet. For example, systematic capabilities and cybersecurity. Many companies are taking this opportunity to reassess safety strategies and legacy systems in order to install the latest up-to-date system that not only meets these standards but are also totally integrated into the process control system for the greatest possible ease of use. So, in summary, if you have not reviewed how your safety instrument system complies with the latest standards, you might be out of compliance to these mandatory best engineering practices. If you would like some help with your assessment and ultimately to review your choices, please give us a call.